the sole contract. Salvation confirms that we have free will by divine command. Dear ones, God has given you free will. Therefore, allows whatever you choose to experience. A free will is a gift from the Creator that is sacred and covered by the law. Attraction. Human beings sometimes blame others or God for their experiences, but in truth, they are attracted to the natural thoughts and actions. How else the free will operate? Nine. Our life plan represents choices. Already made prior to incarnating, it reminds us that your progress is in your own hands. But as we often remind you, the pathway you chose is one that you have decided upon, that is in accordance with the free will you have been granted, so that you are not restricted in your choices. 10. Thus, the situations we face, we freely chose, and now we also choose how to respond to them, says Salusa. We hear some people question where Freel comes in, but there would be no plan unless you exercise free will prior to incarnating. Freel is still your prerogative, but having agreed a plan for your life, you are drawn to those people and experiences that will help fulfill the plan. Your guides are also very active in keeping you on track, but the final word is with you, Eleven. Having chosen our life plan prior to birth, we are now subject to that choice, because we have no recollection of having chosen our life plan, we have no experience of free. 23. We'll look around the events that occur in our lives, but Salusa tells us that indeed we did choose these events. Sometimes the free will of another takes precedence over our free will. For instance, Matthew 